the uh, instructions say uh, a whole bunch of stuff, and I think I'll probably just read them through in this uh, video. Uh, product description, Oculus Go is a standalone VR headset that comes with an orientation tracked controller. It supports three degrees of freedom. Uh, head tracking has best in class optics, a wide field of view, fantastic ergonomics. Oculus Go has a high resolution fast switch LCD screen, which has a dramatic effect on visual clarity. The headset is lightweight and the fabric used for the facial interface is soft and breathable. Built-in speakers provide an integrated audio system that transport you straight into VR without needing headphones. For a full product description, requirements, and warranty, please visit www.oculus.com. What's in the box? And it shows you there what's in the box. Uh, your headset, controller, the lanyard, your um, uh, glass glasses spacer, uh, charger with cable, a double A battery, and a lens cloth. Uh, keep in mind um, <clears throat> that if your glasses do not fit into the space here, and you want to use you you want to use these devices, and uh, you can get lenses to substitute for these uh, uh, set to your uh, optical specifications of your of your glasses and swap them out for those lenses, um, it'll cost you about $80 and um, you will be able to use them without your glasses. So um, that said, um, let's go on. Please visit oculus.com set up uh, for setup instructions. Please visit the support oculus.com for best of practices and troubleshooting. Um, the device has a power button on the top, a volume control on the top left, um, the controller has a trackpad on top, which is touch sensitive. It has a back button, and then it has a home button. Um, and they'll tell you when you're in the in the program uh, if you need to recenter the interface. You hold the home button, and it'll reorient everything according to where you're pointing the the the, um, the, the controller device. So um, what you do is you press that button. And it will recenter your whole environment uh, to where you're looking. Um, that's how you remain oriented um, inside of the device. And I suggest to pretty much everybody, don't bother getting standing up and using this. Uh, you're just going to make you dizzy. And um, I, my preferred position is to sit in a swivel chair in a in a cleared out space. That's the best way to experience this is in a swivel chair. Um, if you want to stand up, if you think that it's going to get you more into the virtual reality, do, but you need to clear your space of, of any objects. And this is um, less, this is more dangerous to do it with this device than it is to do with the, um, the I think the Rifts or the other, um, the Quest is going to be much safer because it'll have built into it uh, sensors to determine if where, where you are with proximity to walls and will prevent you from running into walls, whereas this device will not. Um, okay, product care and maintenance. Um, please use only dry optical lens uh, microfiber cloths for cleaning of the headset lenses. Do not clean lenses with liquid or chemical cleaners. Do not clean the facial interface fa fabric with alcohol or any other abrasive cleaning solution. You may hand wash with mild detergent or air dry. For cleaning of the controller, you only use non-abrasive antibacterial wipes and wipe gently. Do not leave the headset in direct sunlight. Exposure to direct sunlight can damage the optics and the display. Do not shine a laser or external light source through the lenses as it may damage the display. Ensure that the battery tray cover is in good working condition and locks in place. As with any electronic device, avoid exposure to water or fluids. Store components in their storage case when not used to minimize an unintentional damage or environmental exposure. Operating temperature is 0 to 35 degrees C or 32 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Minimum humidity is 5%. Maximum humidity is 95%. 
uh, non-condensing. Non-operating storage, uh, negative 30 to 65 degrees C or negative 22 to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're out there in the cold and you just, it, you leave it in your car, you don't have to worry about the thing um, um, getting damaged from, from the cold. Um, and it can withstand a lot of heat when not in use. So it can be used in rugged uh, environment. Um, so this is this would mean a lot for people who are truck drivers that uh, have to be on road all the time, and then when they're um, asleep or they take a, some time out, they can get into their VR headset, connect up to the internet, and uh, and visit with their kids or meet their wife or you know do it in VR. Um, <laughs> do it in VR. I didn't even think about what I was saying there. Uh, grab your phone to get started. Download the Oculus app on your mobile phone to set up your headset. So I'm how I'm going to do that is I'm going to I've got a um yeah I guess I'll just use my phone. I don't have it here, so I'm probably going to go back to the car and get it. Um. Hey, why don't I do this? Bring you around, and you can sit here and read the instructions with me. Um, installing the lanyard. Uh, it is important to install the lanyard on the controller before using the Oculus Go. Use the lanyard to secure the controller on your wrist. Uh, so you take the loop end and you run it up through that cup. You attach it to the little, to the little um, uh, dowel or whatever that's sitting there, and you and you pull the cover up over and lock it in place. That's how it works. Um, I don't know why they do it that way, why they don't have a locking mechanism inside, um, but um, that's just the way it works. And wearing with glasses, um, you need this thing in order to wear with glasses. If you don't use glasses, you don't need that thing in place. I think what it does is it causes the foam rubber around to, um, to hold the glasses. Um, in place while you're using the device. If you don't have that, then your glasses are going to be shifting all over the place as you're as you're looking. Um, these health safety warnings per, uh, periodically updated for accuracy and completeness. Health and safety warnings to reduce risk of personal injury and discomfort, property damage. Please ensure that all users of the headset read the warnings before. Uh, on, before using the Oculus Go headset and controller. Before using the headset, read the follow and follow the setup of the operating instructions provided with the headset. Review the hardware and software recommendations for use with the headset. Risk of discomfort may increase if recommended. Uh, hardware and software are not in use. Uh, your headset and your software are not designed to be for use with any unauthorized device, accessory, or software content. Use of an unauthorized device, accessory software, or content, or hacking the device, software, or content may result in injury to you or others, may cause performance issues and damage to your system and related services. To reduce the risk of discomfort, properly adjust the side and top straps ensure uh, comfortable placement of the facial interface that you see a single clear image this will aid in proper weight balance and distribution of the headset recheck the settings before resuming use after a break to avoid unintended chart uh, changes to the any adjustments uh, the virtual reality is an immersive experience that can be intense Frightening, violent, anxiety-provoking content can cause your body to react as if it were real. Uh, carefully choose your content. If you have a history of discomfort or physical symptoms when experiencing these situations, Oculus uh, provides comfort ratings for uh, some content, and you should review the comfort rating for your content before use. For more uh, details on comfort ratings and how they are, uh, can assist in providing comfortable experience, go to um, supportoculus.com uh, slash help oculus slash 918058048293446 slash. 
Um, if you are new to the virtual reality, start with content rated comfortable before trying moderate, intense, or unrated content. The comfortable virtual reality experience requires an unimpaired sense of motion and balance. Do not use the headset when you are tired, need sleep, under the influence of alcohol or drugs, hungover, have digestive problems under emotional stress or anxiety when suffering from cold flu, headaches, migraines, uh, earaches, as this will increase your susceptibility to adverse symptoms. And I will say for a fact, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm sleepy all the time. I use this thing all the time. And in VR space, the people who use it, some of them are drunk and some of them are sick. And in various, this is bullshit. Nobody, nobody actually believes that. Uh, consult with your physician before using the headset. If you are pregnant, elderly, have pre-existing binocular vision, abnormalities, psychiatric disorders, suffer from heart condition or serious medical condition, um, seizures. Some people, about one in 4,000 may have a severe dizziness, seizures, eye or muscle twitching, blackouts, triggered by light flashes, patterns. This may occur while they are watching TV, um, playing video games, experiencing virtual reality, even if they have never had a seizure or blackout before or have no history of seizures or epilepsy. Such seizures are more seizures are more common in children and young people. Anyone who experiences any of these symptoms should discontinue use of the headset and see a doctor. If you previously had a seizure or loss of awareness or symptoms linked to epileptic condition, you should see a doctor before using the headset. Uh, children, this product is not a toy. This should not be used by children under the age of 13. As the headset is not sized for children, and proper sizing can lead to discomfort and adverse health effects. And the younger children are in critical period in visual development. Adults should make sure children age 13 and older use the headset in accordance with these health and safety warnings, including making sure the headset is used as described in the in before using the headset section and safe environment section. Adults should monitor children age 13 and older who are using and have used the headset for any of the symptoms described in these health and safety warnings, including those described under discomfort and repetitive stress injury, and should limit the time the children spend using the headset, ensure that they take breaks during use. Prolonged use should be avoided as this could negatively impact hand-eye coordination, balance, multitasking ability. Adults should monitor children closely during after use of a headset for any decrease in these abilities. And uh, there is no child lock on these things. So if um, you're if you're planning to use this for VR porn, and um, uh, it could have a traumatic effect on your children if they get access to it, and there's nothing that you can do to keep them from accessing the stuff that's on your device. You have to lock it away. So you have to be very careful with that. And, and believe me, it could be, it, if if they've seen 2D, it probably is not as traumatic as 3D is traumatic. Um, anything, any content uh, in VR uh, feels like you're there, okay? Um, somebody's close to you, to your face, you feel like they're touching your face. Um, some people have said that, in, even in the VR worlds where it's all cartoon-like, somebody sticks a hand in your face, um, you feel like somebody's touching your face, okay? Um, and it's because your brain expects that reaction, and, it, and it's a sort of a Pavlovian effect, okay? Um, if somebody uh, in VR, in the video, gets close to your face, you can smell their perfume, um, you expect to smell something. That's what your brain does. And so it feels like you're really there. Um, it's the closest thing. I, I had a movie that I like called Brainstorm. And it explores all this stuff 
um, from back in the 80s and talks about all the things that would come about if we were to be able to record people's experiences and then play them back some someplace else. Um, this is, um, they already explored that and uh, they even talk about the traumatic effects of um, being exposed to something uh, that like being uh, falling from a building or something like that can uh, can scare the living crap out of a child. And so you uh, things like that you just want to be careful with. Um, to reduce the risk of injury or discomfort, you should always follow these instructions and observe these precautions you, while using the headset. Uh, use only in a safe environment. The headset produces immersive virtual reality experience that distracts you from and completely blocks your view of your actual surroundings. Do be in an environment where there's nothing that can obstruct your your movements. Don't be in an environment where there is ceiling fans and objects on shelves and things and tables around you, which, as you can see from my environment is completely crap and uh i i am not really a very good example of somebody to 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 um okay use only in safe environment the headset produces an immersive virtual reality experience that distracts you from completely and blocks you from view of actual surroundings always be aware of the surroundings before beginning use and while using the headset, uh, and while using the headset, use caution to avoid injury. You are responsible for creating and maintaining a safe environment for use at all times. Serious injuries can occur from tripping or running into striking walls, furniture, other objects, or people. So clear an area for safe use before using the headset. Use the headset and Oculus controllers may cause loss of balance. And I can guarantee that. <clears throat> If you thought it was bad um, being uh, in a really high building and uh, looking over, you, you get the feeling that you're going to fall. That's kind of the feeling you get whenever you're wearing one of these controllers. And uh, so I'd suggest sitting. Uh, don't don't mess around with standing. Uh, not unless you have a quest. Okay. Serious injuries can occur from tripping, running. Okay. Use of the headset Oculus controllers may cause loss of balance. Remember that the objects you see in the virtual environment do not exist in the real world, so don't sit or stand on them or use them for support. Duh. Remain seated unless your game or content experience requires standing. If you're using a headset while seated, make sure you are seated on a secure surface and stable platform. Take special care to ensure that you are not near other people, objects, stairs, steps, ramps, sidewalks, balconies, open doorways, windows, furniture, open flames like candles and fireplaces, ceiling fans, light fixtures, televisions, or monitors, or other items that may impact or strike when using or immediately after using the headset. Uh, use of the headset with glasses may increase the risk of facial injury if you fall or hit your face. While using the headset with the controllers, you may extend your arms fully out to the side or over your head, so make sure that those areas are clear. Remove any tripping hazards from the area before using the headset. Remember that while using the headset, you may be unaware that people and pets are enter your immediate area. Your view of the surroundings is completely blocked while you are using the headset, so do not hold or handle things that are dangerous, may ensure, uh, injure you, or may be damaged. The headset is designed for use indoors. It is used If used outdoors, pay particular attention to your surroundings and make sure you're using the headset in a safe environment away from traffic pedestrians, or other hazards in an outdoor, outdoor environment. If used outdoors, remain seated unless your game and content experience requires standing. Never wear the headset in situations that require attention, such as walking, bicycling, or driving. Ease uh, into the use of the headset to allow your body to adjust. Use for only a few minutes at a time at first 
only increase the amount of time using the headset gradually as you grow accustomed to virtual reality. Looking around and using the input device when first entering virtual reality can help you to adjust to any small differences between your real world movements and the resulting virtual reality experience. Um, do not use the headset while in moving vehicles such as a car, bus, train, or variation of speed, velocity, sudden movements may increase your susceptibility to adverse symptoms. Uh, yeah, it'll probably cause you to throw up if you're in a car and you're using the headset. Um, uh, however, if you're in a plane, uh, since the plane is pretty much stationary in the way you feel things, it is not going to affect you. Uh, but it'll probably affect your pilot because this thing works at a really high frequency. Um, take at least 10 to 15 minute breaks uh, every 30 minutes, even if you don't think you need it. Each person is different, so take more frequent, longer breaks. If you feel discomfort, you should decide what works best for you. Um, I am an exception to this. Uh, I sit on the headset, have it connected to the wall socket. They tell you not to do that. Uh, I'm risking my life. Somebody told me that the lithium ion battery might actually explode on my face. Um, that's a scary thought. Um, the, but I still do it regardless. And so I'm risking my life doing this. And I have the device on for hours, um, for at least three hours, and then I'll put it away. So I am, um, not a good role model for this, uh, hardware but that's that's me and uh it says it is normal for your headset to feel warm to touch while in use or while charging prolonged skin contact with the headset that is hot to the touch may produce skin discomfort redness or low temperature burns if your headset feels hot to the touch or is uncomfortably warm stop using or char charging it and allow it to cool down to prevent possible hearing damage, do not listen at high volume levels for long periods. Um, for protection and headset, will provide you with the following alerts. An audible and visual alert when your headset is overheating. If that alert appears and sounds to reduce the risk of personal injury, immediately remove your headset and let it cool down before, discontinue, before continuing use. And I, another thing I do is I put ice packs on my uh, device. Um, I, I use dry ice packs, those ones that you use to, to put into coolers. Um, they do produce, um, they do um, produce uh, condensation. So they are kind of wet. <clears throat> but I uh, use them to cool off the headset whenever it gets extremely hot, whenever I continue to want to use the headset. Um, so I'm a bad example and this, and they would disapprove of me the way I use my device. So everybody to each his own, a visual alert in the event of a high volume levels. If that alert appears, lower the sound volume to reduce risk of hearing loss, uh, uh, discomfort immediately discontinue using the headset. If any of the following symptoms are experienced, Seizures, loss of awareness, eye strain, eye or muscle twitching, involuntary movements, altered, blurred, double vision, other visual abnormalities, dizziness, disorientation, impaired balance, impaired hand-eye coordination, excessive sweating, increased salvation, nausea, lightheadedness, discomfort or pain ahead of eyes, uh, drowsiness, fatigue or any symptoms similar to motion sickness. Uh, just as with symptoms people can experience after they disembark a cruise ship, symptoms of virtual reality exposure can persist and become more apparent hours after use. These post-use uh, symptoms can include the symptoms above, as well as excessive drowsiness and decreased ability to multitask. These symptoms may put you in increased risk of injury when engaging in normal activities in the real world. Um, it is definitely the case whenever you use this device and you get it for long periods of time, whenever you come out of it and you get into the real world, you feel like you still have the device on your head and you think the real world is not the real world, that it's the virtual world. And so you might try to do things that you would do in the virtual world and you would be um, 
rewarded with the the negative consequence of knowing of finding out that the real the reality is real um again uh i i've had these uh, experiences so um you have to um your brain sometimes uh just needs to be given a little time to realize what's real and what's not um and so do not drive, operate machinery, or engage in other visual, visually or physically demanding activities have potentially serious consequences, uh, activities and experience symptoms that could lead to death, personal injury, damage of property, or other activities that require unimpaired balance and hand-eye coordination, such as playing sports, riding a bicycle, etc., until you have fully recovered from any symptoms. Do not use the headset until all symptoms have completely subsided for several hours. Be mindful of the type of content that you're using prior to the onset of any symptoms because you may be more prone um, to symptoms based upon the comfort, the content being used. Review the, the comfort ratings for the content you are using and consider using content with more appropriate comfort rating you know, the reason why they put all this shit in here is because they, if anything happens to you, um, they need to say, you read this, didn't you? If you didn't read this, then um, you can't sue us. Uh, so we don't want to be liable for anything that might happen to you. So we're going to put in all the friggin' precautions we can into this device so that whenever whenever people use this device, they know what they're risking and that we are not responsible for your um, failure to recognize these warnings. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't mean that all of this stuff is 100% true. It just means that uh, um, it could happen. And just because it could happen, um, they want to make sure that... Um, you know ahead of time what you're risking so that they are not responsible for your actions. Um, so they, they feign all responsibility as a result of putting these precautions out for you. Um, um, and if they didn't have these warnings there, then they would be liable. Um, you could come and sue them. But uh, since they've got uh, so much junk in here, that uh, precautions, um, they are... Uh, feigning responsibility is what they're doing. Uh, your headset contains a rechargeable lithium-ion battery and a power uh, charging cable. Improper use of the battery or power adapter may result in fire, explosion, battery leakage, other hazard. Uh, follow these instructions to reduce the risk of injury to your damage to your product. The battery in your headset is not uh, user-replaceable or sur serviceable. Do not attempt to open the headset to access the battery, open, repair, or replace the battery, please contact Oculus Support if you need a battery or uh, power management support for your device. Do not use wear or head a headset while connected to the power adapter or charging, which I do all the time. Um, only charge your headset with the included power adapter and cable or, or an approved power adapter cable, if not included, do not use other cables or power adapters. If you are unsure about whether the cable or the power adapter is compatible with your headset, contact Oculus Support. Periodically inspect connection cords, connector tips, and power adapter for damage and signs of wear. Do not use your power adapter if pro prongs enclosure and connector support connector cable or any part of this damage cracked or exposed do not use external battery packs or power sources other than the included power adapter or authorized accessories to charge the battery or power the headset do not attempt to charge or use the headset if it does not turn on after attempt, attempted charging if it gets abnormally warm when it is used or charged if the battery compartment is swollen, leaking liquid, or smoking, do not disassemble, crush, 
bend or deform or puncture, shred or put high degree of pressure on the headset. This can cause leakage or an internal short circuit of the battery and resulting in overheating. Avoid dropping your headset. Dropping it, especially on a hard surface, can potentially cause damage to the headset and the battery. If you suspect the damage to the headset or the battery, it's contact Oculus support. Do not let your headset get wet or come in contact with liquids. Even though the headset may dry, appear, uh, may dry and appear to operate normally, the battery contacts or circuitry could slowly corrode and pose a safety hazard. If the headset gets wet, contact Oculus support even if the headset appears to be working normally. Do not place the headset in an area that may get very hot, such as on or near a cooking surface, cooking appliances, iron or a radiator, or in a direct sunlight, excessive heating can damage the headset and the battery and could cause the headset or the battery to explode. Do not dry or wet the damp the headset with an appliance or heat source such as a microwave oven, a hair dryer, iron, or radiator. Avoid leaving your headset in the car in high temperatures. In the event that the battery leaks, uh, do not allow the liquid to come in contact with the skin or eyes. If contact has been made, Wash the affected area with large amounts of water and seek medical services. Uh, always ensure that the headset has adequate ventilation airflow while using the charging covering the headset with materials with significantly if affect airflow may affect its performance and possess poses a possible lit risk of fire or explosion. Your headset and power adapter comply with applicable limits for industry surface temperature standards to prevent potential low temperature burns from prolonged direct contact. Avoid direct skin contact with the power adapter for long periods of time when charging when plugged into a power source. Ensure that the power adapter is well ventilated area when in use. Use the approved charging cable to optimize the proximity of your device to the adapter. Do not use play, uh, pl place adapter under pillow, blanket, or part of your body. Uh, users with special medical or physical conditions that impair their ability to detect heat against your skin may should uh, take special care when using um, using the device or charging with the power adapter. Follow any thermal warnings and advisory that might appear on your service device's screen. Dispose of your headset and battery properly. Do not dispose the headset and battery in a fire or incinerator as the battery may explode. When the overheated, dispose separately from the household 